Hey guys, welcome back to Half Men of Tech. So today we have a Watch OS update that I want to share with you, and it's Watch OS 7.2 Developer Beta 2. At the time I'm recording this video, this is now available to public beta testers. So whether you are a public beta tester or a developer beta tester, this is an update that you can download over the air. Now this also comes one week after WatchOS 7.2 beta 1, so it's good. And then for me on my Apple Watch Series 6 that you see here, it actually came in as a small size. It was around 145 megabytes. And depending on the series of the watch that you have, it's most likely going to be around that same size. Now the storage that was available before updating on beta 1 was 22.9 gigs and then after updating let me just show you the storage that I have available so if we go into settings and then go to general and then we want to go all the way down to we see usage you can see it just takes a moment to load but you can see that it has actually increased so instead of having 22.9 I now have 23 gig which means it has reduced reduced in size and that is something good that came with this watch away 7.2 beta 2 coming from beta 1 myself and then if we go to see the build number that came with this update so again go into settings and then go back and then we want to go to the about this watch section so you can see the version that we have here it's 18 s 5555c this build number has a C at the end and coming from beta 1, beta 1 actually had an F at the end. So this beta 2 is actually three steps in the positive direction. It's a good update and the build number, you can see that it has gone from a worse to a more stable build. Now, in terms of new features and changes that I noticed after updating to this WatchOS 7.2 beta 2, the first one has to do with the screen that you see after updating. So instead of the watch just saying update is complete only it now shows a new splash screen that has three things that are new with this update and i'm going to talk about them in order and the first one has to do with cardio fitness levels apple at this time is saying that the cardio fitness metric is a strong indicator of your overall health so this is something that your watch will be able to tell you and this feature measures the vo2 max so if i was to make it simpler for you the v stands for volume and the o2 stands for oxygen and the max stands for the maximum so simply put it's basically the amount of oxygen that your body is able to consume during an exercise or a workout this is something that's new with this update and in order for you to set this up you actually have to go to your iphone and then you have to go to your health app and then in your health app that's where you have to set this up once you do this and set everything up in your health app you have to go to your watch in order for you to see the trends and then go to the activity tab here and that's where you're going to be able to access the trends and see your cardio fitness levels so this is good it's the first thing that the watch tells you about after updating and the second thing has to do with apple fitness plus so at this time i visited the apple website it's still something that's still upcoming and in case you didn't know it's a new fitness experience for everyone that is powered by the apple watch so you are going to be able to have different modes of fitness on your apple watch and also just in case you are curious the cost is going to be nine dollars 99 cents per month or 79 dollars 99 cents per year if you have an apple watch you get the first three months for free and this update actually mentions apple fitness plus which means that it could be something that's about to come out or will come out when this watch away 7.2 launches officially alongside ios 14.3 and the last thing that this update mentions has to do with braille keyboard support so it now supports that and it's good to see that this has been added with this watch now in terms of bugs or issues that are still there with this update so far i should say that myself i haven't experienced any on my blue apple watch series 6 that i have here however on the previous beta one some people were experiencing issues when it comes to battery it was draining very seriously when it comes to the apple watch series 4 and sometimes always on display would not update the time correctly to sometimes delay 
following the iPhone so you see how this time you know they they are in sync but some on beta one some people were experiencing issues where there will be a time difference now in terms of battery performance on how it's been for me so let's go to settings and then go back and then we want to go to battery so if we go back to general and then go where it says battery so let's go to battery you can see that basically my watch is on 88 percent so i updated it like five hours ago as you can see and that is when i updated to this watch OS 7.2 beta 2 and if we go to see the battery health you can see that my maximum capacity is at 100 percent so still good and then just in case you are curious let's see the battery usage you can see that from the time i charged my watch to uh 100 until now it's, a, it's been about five hours I've lost like 12% so this is actually not so great if I was to say because usually in about five hours after updating I usually drop like 8% but I dropped 12 so perhaps it's because I'm doing more testing trying to see what has changed with this watch OS update and also trying you know to check out if my features that I like to test out after an update are still working so perhaps that's that if I notice some drastic change when it comes to battery drain or battery performance I'm going to update you on Twitter my Twitter handles are going to be somewhere on the screen and when it comes to overall watch performance I should say that you know I'm, I'm I haven't experienced any issues at all you can see that applications are working as they are supposed to so i like this and you you see that the delay isn't really that much and then if we open siri you can see that siri is responding quite fast hey siri how fast are you hmm. is there something else i can help with okay so siri is working fast and that's good and also applications i should say that i've tested most of them trying to see if anything has changed within the apps you can see this activity app is working watch faces are working as they are supposed to the sensors are working as they are supposed to and also i tested blood oxygen measuring just to make sure that it's working and i'm happy to say that with this watch away 7.2 beta 2 it's actually working and the values that i'm getting are more or less constant so that that is good it's no longer fluctuating like before and basically that's how this update has been for me on my apple watch series 6 now whether you should update or not i would say that considering the build number that we have here it still has a c at the end and in terms of stability c isn't really the best so i would say just hold on a little bit until at least we get to the rc or the release candidate version then perhaps that's when i would uh, think of updating if it's my main watch or something that i use use more often i have this for beta testing and other than that that's about it for me guys if you like this video drop a like and hit subscribe if you haven't yet done so stay safe and i'll see you in the next video very soon peace